it was like someone just took a massive rock and just hit me on my rib cage. My name is Cindy Mafu. Um, I live in California. I am a mother of two toddlers and they keep me busy. I enjoy taking walks. We're walking in the trails, we're walking in the woods. Swimming, I love the beach. Don't ask me to get into the water in California, it's freezing. The day uh, of the heart attack, it was a normal Saturday. I was doing my housework. Started mopping. And when I was mopping, I noticed I started sweating. Uh, and not just like small sweat, like profusely sweating. And I went and I washed my face. I came back carried on with my work and I started sweating again. I went back and I washed my face and I thought this is odd uh, because the, the cool air was going in the house. When I was washing my face, everything just seemed to be going black and I called my husband because that's when I felt like I was very dizzy. He helped me to our room and um, as I was trying to sit on the bed, I felt this crushing pain on my chest. I told my husband, oh, the pain, I'm feeling pain in my chest. And I was just holding my chest so tight. Every It felt like it was squeezing and everything was crushing. And then I felt the pain starting to go on my left arm, squeezing me tight. At that time, he called 911. In my mind, I was saying there's no way I'm having a heart attack. EMTs came, they asked if uh, I suffered with panic attacks, if I had high blood pressure, if I was stressed. They asked me a whole lot of questions. They did an EKG and they said nothing was wrong with my heart. And because they gave me the option to stay home, I agreed and I stayed home. I laid down and when I laid down, it felt like the pain was getting intense and more than what I was feeling. And my husband was like, I'm taking you to the ER. Because of COVID, um, I had to walk in by myself. I was checked into the ER. They started connecting me to monitors, giving me IVs and things like that. You could tell they now moving at a different pace. So in my mind already, I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know exactly what it was. A cardiologist came and she then confirmed that my blood work um, and the EKGs done at the hospital confirmed that I have in fact had a heart attack. When I was given the news, I just lost it. I was immediately prepped to go into theater so they could look uh, at my arteries and my heart to see what was going on. And what was found is that I had a tear in my left descending artery, which is called the Widowmaker and I had a spasm and I had a, a blockage, blockage in my right artery. After I came back from the procedure, um, I was given a diagnosis that I have what is called spontaneous coronary artery dissection, uh, which is known as SCAD. I was in a hospital for a few days, um, seeing different doctors, explaining my condition. Thank God I did not need any intervention, so they treat me with just medication. I think the worst part about this is it's such a lonely experience. I have now found a group. Um, a closed group. The American Heart Association gave me that resource that is for survivors of SCAD. They give the support and the emotional support that I really uh, feel that I've needed. I think this event has helped me um, to just remember to live in the now, to live for today. I'm holding on to seeing my kids grow up. Uh, and seeing my baby girl go to kindergarten, uh, to see my son going to a petting farm so he can see a real pig. He's obsessed with pigs and cows. Um, I'm holding on to that.
that I will have those opportunities and uh, to hopefully grow old with my husband. God knows the desires of my heart and it's all in his hand and he has my future planned out for me.